There is no one outside of you except you. There are actually no others in your universe, in your reality, your version of this world that you are creating. All you ever experience are versions of things and versions of people that you create in order to experience more of yourself. Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Juliette Cleary. I'm a manifestation coach. And if you resonate with this message, make sure to give this video a thumbs up for me and subscribe and tap that bell icon. If you would like to work together, that information is in the description box below, as well as the link to my meditation channel. You are your universe. You are your world. Now, why I really want to dive into this more deeply is because once you really get this and you may need to hear it or read it a few times, right? Before it really clicks in. But once you really get this, you start to feel extremely powerful and worthy and knowing and deserving. And it makes the manifestation process way easier because you know who you are, you know what reality is and how it works, and you know you can have, be, or do anything. And it's easy to manifest. So there is nothing existing outside of you. Right now, everything that you can see doesn't exist outside of you. It only exists within you. The whole physical, <laughs> the physical experience, the whole experience you're having right now is actually happening within your consciousness. It's projected out, right? In this, this physical world in which we're experiencing, we're choosing to experience it, but it doesn't actually exist outside of you. Here's the fun part. Everyone in your world, everyone in your reality, right? That you're interacting with, you have created a version of them in order to interact with them. Now, of course, you're not always doing this on purpose, are you? But it's still your creation. You could not experience the other perspectives, right? The other people, the other perspectives of consciousness. You couldn't experience them if you didn't create a version first of them in order to experience. And I'm sure you've heard, you know, the, the phrase, we are all one, we're all connected, we're all one thing, we're all one consciousness. We are all consciousness, right? But we are all the one consciousness. There is only one entity here. And we are all that entity. We are all that consciousness just coming from different uh, vantage points, like different uh, perspectives. That's it. We are all the same thing, expressing itself differently. There's no one else outside of you because it's you. We're the same energy. We're the same consciousness, again, expressing itself in, in different ways. But also there's no one outside of you and nothing existing outside of you because there is no outside. And again, that's why circumstances do not matter because they're shadows that don't hold creative power. So there's like that saying of no one can reject you except you. And therefore, like if, if they are rejecting you, for example, but apply this to any situation, you're doing that to you. You've created that. Even if someone was to say, oh, you're not good enough or this is not good enough about you or this should be changed about you. You created that because you don't feel good enough and you would only be affected by this other person saying it if you did believe it. And if you did believe it and therefore having a response to it, you must have first assumed it to be true about yourself. If you didn't believe that about yourself, that you were like, if you really knew like your worth and you know that you're the best, you wouldn't care if someone said that to you, you wouldn't even have a reaction. And even like we think of ourselves as like, we're physical beings, we're matter, you know, but we're not, right? We're not, this is truly an illusion. And we intended it to, to be that way. We intended to experience it in this way to learn things and to grow and expand for consciousness to know itself from all different perspectives. Still just all different frequencies. It's all energy. It's not like some things are matter and some things are energy. Some things are about manifestation and some things are about real life, physical life. No, it's all energy. And you're completely in charge of your world, your universe, it's yours. And so often we think that, okay, in order to 
shift into a different reality or timeline or in order to manifest something that I want, I need to do all these different things. I need to have all these steps and I need to have all these actions and processes. And a lot of that stuff can be great for sure. But I want you to realize that even just holding a better understanding of how this all works helps to shift your mindset around this and you start to be able to manifest better because you know who you are, you've remembered. You've remembered who you are, you know your power, you know your worth, you're starting to understand that the outer conditions aren't really what they seem to be. They're not like the powerful, controlling things that you thought they were. And they were only seeming that way because you thought they were that way, right? You assume them to be that way. That's why they present themselves to you in that way. Like, oh, these things are all controlling how I feel and controlling my uh, results and whatever. But you did that with your imagination. You did that within yourself. You're declaring that. You're assuming that to be true. So that's why you create the reality and you live in that um, experience where things seem to be out of control and you, and just like one thing after another and it seems like you're, you're completely powerless. It's because you created that. You said it was that way. And I've been having some really... Ooh, like powerful downloads, but also um, experiences in my dream state that are just really integrating some, some great uh, shifts and, and knowledge within me. And one I'm going to translate from my dream state was basically like, let the others, the other people, or you could say the outer circumstances, just let them be what they are and don't give them so much importance. Don't give them so much of your attention, therefore your power. Um, and you focus on what you want or you focus on who you want to be or how you want to show up, how you want to feel. You focus on your happiness, your excitement, your alignment, your vision apart, apart from from others. Um, and when I had this experience in my dream state or, you know, I don't even know, like if in between awake and asleep or I just, I don't know. It was, it, it's hard to in interpret it um, exactly, but I had, you know, this out of body experience. It was exhilarating. And I could see that what caused that exhilaration and that power, like superhuman power was for me to um, release my focus on, like, I'm not pushing against, but I'm releasing my focus. I'm kind of putting up a force field, right? That's what it was. It's like putting up a force field of these outer conditions, even though like some of them are, are great or some of them are, um, not maybe still good, but not as I want them to be. Okay. Let's put that up and let's focus. Let's focus our power. Um, and I just had this in incredible experience in which I knew I had downloaded information and I knew I had shifted while I was asleep in that dream state um, because of how I woke up, feeling excited, feeling jittery. And that's exactly how I feel whenever I've shifted my energy in a big way. And I'm sharing this with you because I know that a lot of the things, the downloads and the messages and experiences that I receive um, directly also relate to how I can help my clients, my community, um, how I can teach better. And so when you're focused on people or circumstances, right, outside of you, um, and you're just like, you're seeing something that's not what you want it to be, um, not what you prefer, remember who you are. Remember that you are the I am. You are the universe that you are experiencing right now. You're all of it. You're all of it. There's nothing here but you. When you are trying to go out into your physical reality and get them to change their mind and get them to do this and, and, and try to change this and try to make this happen, what you're saying, what that energy is saying is that I believe more in this person's power than my own. I believe more in this circumstance or this outer reality's power more than myself. And that is your only block ever. Because once you shift that for the most part, once you shift that into realizing the power is never outside of you, it's only within you, then you've got it. 
then you're home free, then you can have it all. You know who you are. And that's why I feel like a lot of my, um, my, my teachings are so beneficial, even just the messages I share, even just how I'm speaking to you. Because as I'm speaking to you, if it's resonating with you, you're downloading this information. You're matching my frequency. So you're knowing this, it's integrating. You're shifting right now. And this shift in your perception of who you really are and what reality is will change your life forever. So doesn't that just kind of lift the weight a little bit off your shoulders of like, I don't have to get out there and try to make all these changes and change these people's minds and get them to contact me and get this to happen and um, get these clients to sign up with me. I don't have to do anything like that. I don't even have to try and manifest them doing that. I just have to own my power. I just have to understand who I am, remember who I am and act from that. And in the moments I don't know that I forget it, who cares? Feel it, experience it, drop it, leave it. That's not you, don't associate with that. If any beliefs come up that are not serving you and they're right in your face, good, perfect, thank you. Thank you for helping me to see this so I can boop, drop it, let it go. It's like even with the whole manifesting process, I don't have to try and manifest the changes out there. Let me just know myself. Let me just be myself. Let me just follow my happiness moment by moment and then follow impulses that come from that. Let me just expect the best for myself. Let me just know that I'm deserving. Let me just choose to know that I'm worthy of everything that I want and it can come now. Let me just decide or practice deciding and choosing that I can receive what I want and allow myself to receive. Let me just assume something different about myself and about my life and see what comes to me. Like I'm really just not about trying to manifest things in a way of like, I'm trying to get this person to do this. I'm trying to get this person in a relationship with me. I'm trying to get this um, opportunity, right? It's knowing who I am knowing that I am it, knowing that I have it, knowing my power, knowing that great things come to me, this or something better, being who I am. It's being all of me to the best of my ability. It's letting in, like letting go of what isn't me. In any moments I see it, letting go of that and letting in what is me. And also what I love about this is just knowing that when you shift when you make a different decision, you start showing up differently and you shift to a different timeline. In this different timeline, everything's different. Oh my gosh. Like I was saying to a client this morning, um, you shift to a timeline where, you know, your body was never sick to begin with. So your body will just start adjusting, healing, adjusting to this new reality where you were never sick. Like I said, even your appearance will start to change because you've become literally a different person right now, right now, right now, different person. As you're making new different choices and you're showing up differently or you're knowing your worth, you're knowing your power, you're being all of you or more of you, you're going to even start to look different physically because you're literally not figuratively, you're literally a different person. And all the people that you knew in your old, like your other timelines, right? Your other old life with the old identity, they're new too. They're not even, you know, if you had issues um, with a family member or in your relationship with, with your partner or something like that, it's almost like when you shift to that new timeline, you didn't, you don't even have like that, your partner or that person, that, that family member, never had those issues, has a different past, whether they realize it or not. And most likely, you know, won't realize it, but they never even had those issues. That's why the, the relationship feels new or um, the friendship feels different. The dynamic is different. The results are different in your, your work, your business, because everything is, um, has changed. Everything is new and different. And you will continue to attract different versions, which I love Bashar's um, uh, explanation of this, different versions of earth, different versions of the same earth that you think we're all living on the same earth, but it's, it's not. There are different versions of it. And when you upgrade your energy, you change, you shift your energy, you shift to a different universe, a different version of earth. And so all the people 
that come along with you um, have also agreed to shift to this different version and you attract different versions of them that exist on this new frequency that you have now kind of agreed to shift to, to move to. And like I've said in, in a previous video is there will be times where you've shifted. Um, you're not the same person anymore. You're living on a different version of earth. And so the people that you knew maybe, you know, recently or maybe some years ago, you'll never see them again. Maybe you can still kind of see them. Maybe you can still witness their lives or you can see people on TV or you can see their social media, but you'll never actually interact with them again. They do not exist in your version of your universe, of this world. And here's the big piece, here's the big reminder that because there is nothing existing outside of you, then why place so much importance and power in your outer conditions, which are truly not there. They only exist within and are projected out. They don't exist outside of you. The only reality that actually exists is your consciousness, is within you, right? Your imagination is reality and it's the only reality for you. Anytime you experience what you want within yourself, whether you use a process or you, you just think about it or assume it or whatever, when you do that, you're literally experiencing the reality of it because reality exists in here and project it out. Reality is not outside of you. That's the illusion. That's the illusion right? The illusion of the five senses. So when you experience something within yourself, you must know and trust that that is real. Please, if you just put your faith and trust in that, you're going to see shifts and changes outside of you because that's the projection. It has to show you what you have assumed or imagined in here, unless you're still assuming and imagining that the things outside of you are more real. If you take anything away from this video, take away that. So then it's more like, okay, well, who really cares about what manifests outside of you, even just for a little while in this time delay, because that's not reality. That is not real. This is in here, the consciousness of you, that's reality. So place your importance and your power there. And nothing can stop you from getting every single thing that you really truly want because it's just you giving it to you. You're the one power, right? You're the electricity, right? That flows through everything and gives the process power, gives the action power. Or even, you know, you can flow your electricity, your power through the outer circumstances that you don't like and you don't want and you give them power and you're like, oh my God, these circumstances. But you flowed your electricity through them. You're the power, own it. And again, you own everything you want already. You already own it. If you didn't own it, if you didn't already have it within you, you couldn't ask the question, can I have it? Is this possible? or saying, I want this. You couldn't say it if you didn't already have it within you. It's impossible. Own your power. Okay, that is it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, let me know, please. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I love reading them. Um, give this video a thumbs up for me if you did enjoy it and subscribe. If you would like to work together, that information's in the description box below for you. Have an amazing day. Thank you for being here and I'll see you next time.